Hey, orange one here. So we are starting up the next episode. Um, basically, going to just uh, pick up where where we left off, clearing this mansion. We're gonna do the upper floors and um, in the basement. I would rather not get stuck in the basement though, because um, we did fire a few shots in the last episode. I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal, but you never know. Um, there could be some zombies around that are just going to come out of nowhere. Speaking of which, maybe I should just do a, a quick peek out the window. Yeah, there's there's nothing really around us right now. We're okay. So let's go ahead and go upstairs and we'll loot that area. Oh, also check it out. I figured out how to get it so that we can move multiple tiles by holding down the key. I had to do some adjustments with the software I was using. That is going down. Um, I would rather go up first, personally. Let's just have a little bit of that beer. Um, it's a shame there wasn't really any books that were more useful. And I, <laughs> I have listened to a little bit of my recordings since I got my new keyboard, and I didn't realize it was so loud. I'm I apologize about that. But uh, wait, what? There's some really good food here. Uh, I'm gonna take that. Um, I'm not gonna pick any up any of that stuff because I hate all of it in real life. Yeah, I know. I've gotten to the point in game where I'm like, eh, I don't like that in real life, so I'm not going to get it. I'm just going to whack this with my umbrella. There we go. Yep. You can smash through doors with umbrellas, guys. Um, I will take the shotgun hole. I don't think we're going to be using shotguns with this character, but you never know. Also I've been kind of playing- wow there's a ton of- the zombies must have just fallen out of here. That must have been all those zombies that were down here that were like, oh my god! You remember that? There was like a ton of them. And I just am curious about any of these items. There's a battery right there. I was curious about what that was. And you know what I also uh, did recently, which I'm pretty proud of, is um, I learned how to do like hotkeys with the auto hot hotkey um, uh, software. And I'm I don't have much experience, if any, with coding. My extent of coding. Oh wait, a mace? Hmm. Might want to pick that up. I mean, this is... Meh. I mean, it's great protection, but it's going to encumber us a lot. I don't think I want to have plate armor. I'm pretty sure that our... Our riot gear is comparable. I mean, it does... It's actually about half its encumbrance and half the protection. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not sure if I want to pick that up or not. How much does it weigh? 24 pounds. That's uh, that's a lot of my weight that I can carry. I'm gonna grab the mace, just because that's uh, that's awesome. Having a mace, you know. For some reason, that just appeals to me. I do have to be careful with the the screen clicks because how I've got it, it has like a delay of like 50 milliseconds. I might want to put that up a little bit higher because like it, I'm getting a, hold on, no, wield that bolt driver. I'm getting some double movements, which is not something that you want to have in this game. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty excited about learning how to do macros because from what I've seen online that would be really good for gaming you know being able to reliably do macros okay well that corpse fell off the edge there I have to make sure I remember that 
Oh man, there's some smashed alcohol. It's even a bit Belgian. That makes me sad. We'll go get our uh, our Pabst or whatever this is. There's actually really good beers now in cans, which is weird for me. Look at all those rocks right there. You could make a rock uh, forge just from those two things. Yeah, I don't know if I want to pick up that bullet. I don't think it's a type of bullet I'm going to use a lot. Smash that dude. And we'll keep on moving. Oh wow, we can see what buildings have second floors from here. The evac shelter has a second floor. That's weird. I did not know that. Okay, I am really hoping for some books, but it looks like they've completely changed how books work. Um, in mansions and where they spawn and whatnot. Sorry about the heartbeat. Let's just get that back. God, I love being able to just hold down a button and get our breath back. You have no idea how frustrated I was. I mean, you guys probably were getting a little frustrated too. Oh my god. This is... Somebody was hoarding over here. I don't know what happened to them, but I will take their juice. Energy Cola. Definitely want that. Um, chocolate drink? No. Can't, can't really. Let's have some of that energy drink. Where is it? Was it down here? Energy Cola. Yep, I'll have that. Thank you. And hey look, it got rid of our exhausted. A butler bot. Interesting. We might be able to uh, interact with that. I don't know. A lot of the robots that are in the game now, like that, um, have some functionality to them, which is pretty cool. Like, I remember. Wait, what? Oh, hold on, what? No. I'm not pouring any of my drinks out. I remember the day when uh, the nurse bots came out. I watched someone playing with those for the first time, and that was pretty interesting. I've forgotten who it was I was watching. I think it might have been like Flackaby or someone. Um. Yeah, why don't you just take some steps back there? Because, yeah, they're gonna come to you. Just ignore and hit them. Just hit that one again. And we'll shoot this one. For some reason, they haven't figured out how to walk around the door. Uh, yeah, stop reloading. That's not dangerously close. We're fine. Okay, we are going to get that annoying menu about the eye. You know, I could probably um, get some auto keys set up for this game, right? With the... Um, I mean, I don't want to automatically uh, ignore sounds. That seems like a pretty bad idea. Oh, whoops. I spotted a zombie. Okay, there we go. I just need to step into the dark with you. Good. Alright. Let's carry on. Nothing there. That doesn't really look like anything. No. Yeah, I, I suspect that this mansion's not gonna give us much in the basement either. Is that the whole whole mansion? Let's just have a look see. Oh what? What? Okay. <laughs> it's an interesting design choice. Um, I think we want to go down and around, huh? Alright, let's go down and around then. I kind of like um, how this is a little bit, got a little bit more delay to it than the default. 
Oh, hello. We can't interact with you. Oop. I just whacked him. Is he hostile to me now? No, he is not. We're gonna take your SIGs though. Sorry, Mr. Robot. Uh, never mind. We're gonna have to maybe eat something first. Uh, <laughs> that's gonna make us pretty upset. I'm gonna eat it though. And then. Oh, we have uh, stuff for another grilled cheese. Let's just eat this. Get rid of these items. So that we have a little bit more. Actually, we'll. I'm I'm kind of uncertain as to what I want to do here. Yeah, we've got enough space to store that. We definitely should unload. Oh wow, there was a zombie in the the closet there. You know what that reminded me of? Um, Project Zomboid. They always have zombies in closets and bathrooms. It's a it's a good trope. That I I like that how they put that in that game. It's been a while since I've played it though. It's been a long while since I've I've played it, or as the kids would say, a cool minute. I don't know if that's the kids. That's like people who were saying that when I was a kid, you know. Maybe the kids don't even know what that means. Oh my gosh, there's a Snuggie. <laughs> oh man. I kind of want to take that just so that we can sleep in it. I'm going to wear it. Wear the Snuggie. Get nice and, get nice and snug. And hey, look, there's a broken one here. Um, it has a monocle and a top hat. Um, with the disassembled utility robot, could I then, or broken utility robot, could I then disassemble that? Probably not. Oh, we got a mace at least. That's kind of cool. Okay, it's it's a head down. Oh, I, uh, right there, I just, um, hit the down button thinking like it was like a Caves of Cud and it would just do it automatically. Nope, that is not the case. We gotta, we gotta go there ourselves. They're gonna make us work for it. Okay, it's fine with me. Just go through the disappointment that is that library. And we're pretty much out. Wait, there's a grappler? Where's the grappler? Okay, they haven't seen me, so I'm, I'm just gonna dump our Snuggie first before we try and deal with them. Where's the Snuggie? Yep, and then the rest we'll just do with this menu. Wow, we're actually, we're really stocking this thing up. We're starting to run out of storage space. Why don't you put all of that in there? I'm gonna... yeah, let's put the rest of this, these plastic bags and stuff away. Ideally, this is not gonna be an issue for very long because we will... Um, soon be upgrading. Let's go ahead and get the rest of this put in there. Yeah. Why don't we keep that? The cactus pad, I don't know, it's weird. Like, that doesn't seem like that should be taking 44 minutes to cook, you know? Whatever, though. I'm just gonna move all of you guys and. Our illicit items as well. Oh yeah, the fungicide. We should probably do antifungal drugs. Can I even make antifungal? <laughs> no, but I can make that. <laughs> uh, antiseptic. I think we have disinfectant in here. So I don't think there's really a need to do uh, antiseptic. 
just want to double check that. It'd be good to make sure that we have... Yeah, we've got disinfectant in the car. Uh, let's see if we can also reload our quiver. I think we want the botkin. Isn't that what we've been using? Nope. No ammo for that. If I look at here... Yeah, we're using botkin bolts. Oh, right, there was also that one dude that fell down that level, so we should probably go smash that before that dude gets back up. I'm gonna just get that grabber. Smash that. No good items. If we just get inside, uh, we're probably pretty upset with how wet we are. So we'll deal with that. And we're really happy. That's that's good. Uh, that's just a glass bottle. Part of me wants to say we're past the point where that matters, but we don't have a chemistry uh, kit, and that would be really, really useful for that. Uh, do I want to get a flashlight? Sure, let's get a flashlight for going into the basement. It'll just make things just that much faster. Yeah, take that. I don't think we're going to need uh, 79 charge. We've got plenty. It is a little bit slow uh, trying to use the holding down things. Like on one hand I'm saying it's too slow when I'm holding it down, but it's too fast for me and as well at the same time. <laughs> Kind of depending on the situation, so I think I'm probably going to leave it how it is and just be a little bit more careful with my clicks. Is that what I think it is? A pair of binoculars. Okay. Um, those do have some nice items in there, usually. And we're just going to, you know, creep out into the bathroom. Don't mind us. Wait, what? Okay, well... That's kind of sad. That's uh, that's actually pretty messed up right there. Don't want to know what happened to that maid in the apocalypse. Uh, there's a shocker that we can see. Flashlight, turn off. I don't want to get shocked is basically what I'm thinking. And with our range, we shouldn't need to get shocked. Ooh, look, Ergonaut. Yeah, this is, um, hold up, that shocker has not seen us yet. Just take a couple steps back there, then you can take aim. And I'm pretty sure that, yeah, we can take him out without ever really being in danger. That was awesome. Uh, biotics. Do I want to try dissecting this dude? I don't think that we have the ability to really do that, unfortunately. Because we'd have to get a, an exit table, we'd have to get a butchery rack out, and we don't have a folding butchery rack, unfortunately. That's one of the things that I was telling myself I was going to get. Um, but we never did it. I think that's going to be one of my uh, first projects when we're done here because we're having to smash this, this dude. Because if we try and... Uh, yeah. No point in crying over spilt bionics. There's no zombies here. I wanted to cop. Did I want to? Co I feel like I wanted a copper pot for something. Some sort of craftable. So I'm going to pick it up. It wasn't the still. You used to need to have that for stills. Okay, these guys are coming towards us. Fine by me. You can easily take them out. It's not a big deal. 
Oh, actually, we were kind of low on the bolts there. I didn't realize it. At the very least, we're getting some decent experience, right? What is our focus at right now? 27. Well, it's not that great of experience, but better than nothing. Um, yeah, I'm not really seeing... Ooh, there's a, there's a UPS smartphone over there. I think we already have a couple of those. Starting to wonder if the whole smartphone thing, if I have too many. Is this what I think it is? Is this old machinery? No. Gauge pump. This is a washing machine. You can get washing machines installed in vehicles. You don't really need to at this point in the game. But definitely something worth considering. Ooh, there's a drive belt? What? Well, I should get that in case our engine gets damaged. I have no idea why some dude has a drive belt just in a box in his basement. But, uh, you know, good for me. Take the dehydrated veg. And there's toastums as well, so we'll take that. And there's actually a ton of pipes if we really needed pipes we should just grab them I'm not sure if we do need pipes or not I don't think we do yeah I'm very uh, skeptical about the whole prospect of us um, getting any Oop. any books that we're looking for seems unlikely. Go ahead and reload some more. Let's have a look, see if they dropped anything. Because basically at this point, I think we're more likely to get the books that we're looking for from the zombies than from around here. I and mean, maybe they have an underground um, library, but I don't know if that's even a thing, to be honest. those dudes are down I'm like totally keeping track I'm like counting in my head how many things we fired just because we can't see it which is actually kind of cool I kind of like not knowing the exact amount of ammo that we have it kind of reminds me of like in Metro Exodus in that game how you most of the time have no idea how many bullets you have if you're playing in the the right mode. It does look like there's a, a shopping cart right there, isn't that? Laundry cart? <laughs> well, we could take that. The extra light frame I don't think is foldable, but the other parts are, and that might be nice for looting. I'll have to think about it, if it's worth us grabbing. Definitely the vinegar is, though. I think we already have a sewing kit. It's the tailoring kit that we're needing. Ammonia and bleach. Oh, man. I can't pass those up. Bio, um, mutation ingredient. Mutagen ingredients are always a welcome loot spawn. You know what mutation type I'm thinking of doing for this character? Medical. I mean, look at the uh, look at those stats. Like most of the bad parts are part of um, being a, a test experiment. So that would work out pretty well for us if we went with that, because then. Of the remaining mutations, most of them are positive. <gasps> oh no! How tragic. There wasn't even a zombie inside. Did the uh, owner smash off his wine and then his maid? I think that's what happened. You know, that's actually the first human, like, not zombie, that Nash has seen. So it probably like, kind of freaked him out. 
you know. I like to believe that Nosh is having the time of his life, though. He, like, totally loves this, and it's great. You know, like... He's lit. He's got plenty of time outside. He's got plenty of good food. You know, he's... He's doing great, honestly. See that door? I totally did not mean to open. That could really be bad for me if uh, if there was like a single click that resulted in my death. That could be a serious problem. <laughs> I'll, I'll probably play around a little bit more just to see if I can get the controls to be a little bit more um, logical, you know? I think that I'm having some issues because I'm not used to how sensitive the keys are. I'm used to having to press down so much harder. Okay, that's completely worthless. If I actually needed cement, that'd be kind of cool, but you don't really need that. I gotta smash that door down because that's gonna be bad for us. Uh, got a feeling like there's a secret room around here somewhere. If I look here, where would I put a secret room? Go ahead and get your hair, your umbrella. There we go. Pick that up. Oh, well, we can see actually behind it. Okay, well, not behind there. What about you? Okay, that is too heavy for us. <laughs> Good to know. Anywhere else there might be a secret room? I just want to look over here. I mean, there's not really any other locations that I'm seeing that would make sense for there to be a secret area. I know there is one in here, probably. The developers like to put little secrets in like that. Okay, um... Go by that body and uh, south east you hear clang. Okay, so that means there must be a way down over there. Which begs the question, where's the stairs that get you there? Let's just look. So feel like wasn't there stairs to go down like up and to the right if I look down here yeah I didn't see anything but it appears to me that we've got a bit of a, a bit of a puzzle here We did check most places. We didn't check right there. You know what? I'm going to go up and have a look at the front, see if there's a place for a secret staircase there. Any possible places for a secret compartment? No, it doesn't really, doesn't really seem like it. Oh, that was kind of weird the light there. I think it like changed with like the time of the day or something. Hmm. Drop a comment if you saw something where you're like, oh that's definitely it. Cause I'm not seeing it anywhere. Just seeing like those uh the stairs that we took, basically. I check one last time around here before we end this. I mean, come on, we you gotta you gotta admit that was pretty pretty sweet um, 
combat going through this mansion. Uh, I don't think we can disassemble this. I don't think we have the right items. No, we do not. But we might be able to smash it. Let's go ahead and let's get the Jane out. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. This might not be working. It hasn't given me the message that this isn't working yet. Yeah, it's not working. I'm going to end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.